Hello the internet, my name is Sean Quadlin from PPC Hero and today I want to talk about identifying the best place for you to set your frequency capping within your accounts on the Google Display Network. I've talked before about the reaching frequency report and the kind of the specifics about it but I wanted to show you how to take that to the next level and so for me if you've watched any other PPC Hero video tutorials that means a pivot table. So here's what the reaching frequency report looks like we're going to be looking at reaching frequency by day, and I like to go back, uh, I'm going back to the beginning of the year, so this goes back to January 1st of 2013 all the way through May 1st, through, so through yesterday. You can just go back long enough to make sense. We're trying to get a big enough snapshot so we know at what point our ads stop being effective. So here's what the report looks like, add in the columns on the dimensions tab. And then you can head over to Excel, and this is what the report looks like. It's pretty nice. So all you have to do with it is add in a new column for impressions because this report downloads frequency and unique users you can just add in a new column for impressions which is the just this cell times this cell and you can go all the way down I like to paste all my stuff as a value I don't think it'll make any difference but I just do that for my own state of mind my own peace of mind I guess and then we're going to do data pivot table right here and so for our actual pivot table field we can put frequency as a row label and then we can put clicks here we can do impressions here and then we're going to do a calculated field for our click through rate Calc CTR. we can just do clicks divided by impressions and then I would like to make it look like a percentage just because I'm a crazy person and I need things to look a certain way or else I can't sleep at night. And then we can also add in conversions and then we'll do another calculated field for conversion rate. And so that's just conversions divided by clicks. And again, since I'm a crazy person, I change everything to percentages. This is an unnecessary step, and hopefully you're not weird like I am. But as you can see here, as we get more and more impressions on a single user, our click-through rate's going down. And this is just, in one day, if people see your ad seven times, they're estimated to click through 0.02%. But on that first impression, their click-through rate is way better, 0.28%. And so we want to walk the line of getting a good click-through rate while not leaving any conversions on the table. So this is what it looks like here. And then we can just group stuff one at a time and see where it makes the most sense to actually. So just right click in that data and then you can just group that right there. And so you can see with one impression, we're gonna have 0.28%, but over half of our conversions are going away. So that's probably too aggressive to cap a frequency at just one per day. Some people could do that if they want the best click through rate possible, but then we're just going to ungroup that and see if it makes more sense to do something a little bit better. So where we have a good number of conversions and let's see, you could go just group one and then group everything else and then you can group everything else after that and see what makes the most sense for you and just keep going down and group fourth rate, five through eight, on and on and group them and just compare your metrics. But just based on the click-through rate right here, there's a pretty clear drop-off from 6, 7, and 8, we can see that it's down to 0.2, and also the number of conversions isn't that high. So I think that it's a good place to start here. And so we can group the bottom ones, and then right click, group the top ones. And so now we have 1 through 5, 6 through 8, and then we just have to collapse those down and see if we set our frequency capping at 5, like we talked about here, our click-through rate can go up from 0 .06, 0 0.06 overall up to 0.11, and then our number of conversions doesn't even drop by that much. So that's where I would choose to set it, and that's just a really quick analysis for you to run and see where you should actually set up your reach and frequency. And then let's just remove that group. And this is what it starts with, and just pick a spot and see what does best for you. Um, I think it's just kind of an a lot of people refer to frequency capping in an amorphous way as, you know, cap your, cap your frequency at this number. But this is a, a way that you can actually do it a bit more definitively. Even though we're using estimates from Google, I think it's um, 
better than better than nothing. So here's a way to actually have some data and uh, improve your marketing campaigns and really or any display campaigns where you have frequency capping previously enabled and it's just a quick way to really help you out there. So hope you enjoyed that quick little tip and that uh, you enjoyed my video blog. Thanks for letting me talk at you for a while the internet. I appreciate it.